How's it going everybody? With Titan abilities about to get nerfed as an indirect way to nerfing the heart of inmost light, I thought to bring you the second best Titan build for ability spamming. Gonna straight up call this one Walmart. Because it'll never be as good as heart of inmost light, but it's definitely the next best thing. So the main reason that people run heart of inmost light was for the grenade spam. People want to throw out as many roaming supers as they can, what can I say? So with the idea of wanting as many grenades thrown out as possible, what other exotic to run? other than insurmountable skull fort a melee based exotic pairing this helmet with the titan arc ability thunderclap and flash will result in infinite melee abilities quite literally all you need is one kill per strike and the ability will become completely refreshed fellas if you don't know where this is going you're about to for your armor affinity composition you're gonna want one void armor piece and then make the rest of them solar on the arms you're gonna want to double up on impact induction this states by causing damage with your melee, you don't even need to get a kill. You will receive grenade energy. Moving on down to the class piece, I'm sure we all saw this coming, double bomber. By popping that barricade or dodging, cause titans can do that now, you will receive more grenade energy. And now that we got all the basics down and out of the way, time for the extra stuff. On your void armor piece, you're gonna wanna run charged harvester. For every time you get a kill, you will gain an increasing chance to become charged with light. And in a grenade spamming build, what better to pair with this other than to fill your two remaining solar armor pieces with fire power to top all of this off if it was not implied before you're gonna want to be running touch of thunder for this build for your aspects or it makes your storm grenades a roaming super practically and for the fragments that you can run with this build make sure you have spark of magnitude on for this fragment makes your grenades last longer in effect spark of shock for this fragment jolts all targets hit by the grenade so more damage and to add just a bit more energy regen to the build. You can either run Spark of Recharge, that will give you more ability energy when you are critically wounded, or Spark of Ions. When defeating a jolted target, it will spawn an Ionic Trace, which, in effect, grants you more ability energy. To be honest, you can run both Spark of Recharge and Ions, but I personally like to make room for Spark of Resistance, just to make sure I stay alive longer. But do as you wish. Now that's the whole build, fellas. Time for the gameplay loop. So, you enter a room full of enemies. First, you're just gonna throw your grenade. Then, for any ads left, you're just gonna wanna spam Thunderclap. Throw in a dodge or a barricade if you feel like it, it only helps. Then move on and proceed to get more melee kills. The startup process is the slowest in this build, so give it until after the first group of enemies to give it a chance. By this time, you should have some charge of light on you. For the next time you throw a grenade, it's just gonna give you a little kickstart on the energy, just to make the process more faster to regain the energy. But let's say you whiff your melee, and now you're stuck with no option but to wait for the cooldown. And for that problem, the solution is always the weapons. Now, weapons to pair with this have some variety. First off, I'm going to tell you the Aikilos SMG. For it does roll with Pugilist, but nobody wants that on their Aikilos. All we want is Volt Shot, baby. Now, with Volt Shot, if you are running Spark of Ions, Aikilos can now spawn Ionic Traces, and that gives you ability energy. I do have to say that this is the more convenient side of the options we have listed, but not the most optimal. Up in second place for optimization will be any weapon with pugilist essentially just demolitionist but for your melee ability getting kills will grant you melee energy basic now up in first place for the most goaded option to almost immediately gain your melee back brigand's law for this weapon rolls with both pugilist and volt shot at the same time now these perks paired together do more than the eye can see unless you're looking in the right areas which is the bottom left on top of the fact that volt shot paired with spark of ions will give you ionic traces per jolted kill any enemies killed by the jolted effect will apply as a weapon kill which means pugilist will grant melee energy for every enemy that dies to the shock effect giving you almost a complete refresh to your melee ability goaded stuff and that's pretty much it quite literally the same gameplay loot as heart of inmost light but worse i hope you guys have enjoyed the build and for you titans this might be all that you have after those nerfs get rolled out if i see anyone running this build you are just built different. Truly one of the gamers of all time. But that's all for me for right now. Here are all my plugs, and if you have enjoyed the video, a like would be appreciated. And a subscribe would be a godsend if you did that. Now take care, y'all.